you know, it was obviously a short one for Davey today, just the inning, but he was really efficient. Uh, you saw his fastball play up a little bit at the top of the zone. I believe he got a strikeout. Uh, I thought through through some good breaking pitches, so just a good step for him. He was very efficient. Obviously, you know, facing facing our big boys, and um, you know, so good to see him get out there and 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 get going now. And I feel like he's off and running now in our summer camp. Mm -hmm. Who has the next question? Christy Ackert, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, with the change to the schedule tomorrow because of rain, uh, how does that change the rest of the next few days going forward? Uh, it, it, it doesn't much. I mean, we'll we'll make sure we're set up pitching wise and shuffle a little bit. But it it actually the rain coming tomorrow is probably not a bad thing because because we're inter squadding tonight because we got a number of pitchers going Saturday and then we're going to do a Sunday day game probably so. To have the day off tomorrow with the rain kind of kind of works out to give these guys a blow because they're going to essentially end up going three out of four in some way, shape, or form. So, um, it, yeah, I feel like it kind of works out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Meredith, if you can go ahead and unmute. Aaron, has it been difficult at all kind of trying to navigate the process of how hard to push people during this span? I know you weren't expecting tomorrow to be a day off, mm -hmm. but have you found it hard to manage exactly how hard you should push people? Not really. I mean, you know, obviously you lean on the training staff and the strength and conditioning staff to are capable of hand, handling what they're capable of handling with their legs. Um, you know, you know, you know, you've got to kind of strike that balance a little bit of, of pushing them and starting to build them up, but also taking care of them and, and the rest and recovery piece of it all is very important as well. So um, it's something I feel pretty comfortable and, and try to have a decent handle on and um, feel like so far, uh, so far, so good. You know, both 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 sides, five innings in the field today. With tomorrow being an off day, we'll push them again, maybe five, six innings Saturday, um, and then followed by a Sunday day game a few innings. So I feel like, um, you know, these first several days have gone pretty well as we start to build them. Do you know who you're going to have start come Saturday? Saturday is Hap. Hap is starting. Hap will go a few innings. Um, whew, I'm not sure. It's uh, Schmidt, maybe I think Schmidt is Saturday. I don't. I don't have the list. I, I think he is. I, I believe. I, I gotta. I gotta look at it. We'll. We'll have it for you. But I know Jay's pitching Saturday and Cole Sunday. Uh, next question from Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney. Sorry, Aaron. Um. Hey, hitters always talk about how long spring training is anyway and that they only really need two weeks to get going. Well, you're two weeks out. I mean, do you think that's uh, enough time given where these guys are from what you've seen the last few days? Yeah, you know, I, I do feel like most of them can, have come in, um, you know, in shape and ready. Um, you know, now it's just about getting up to speed. And obviously when you're in a spring training situation where you have six or seven weeks, you know, you're able to space it out a little bit more. So it's, you know, no big deal if a guy has a couple of days off and you get him a couple ABs one day. You really kind of slow play those first week, 10 days here. We're having to speed that process up a little bit. I feel like they're ready to handle it. Um, as far as, you know, you know, there, it, as a hitter, I think you're still a little bit overwhelmed at this point with just the, you know, the stuff and the velocity and getting used to it and finding that timing. I do feel like that that can come pretty quickly. Um, and whether you have six or seven weeks in spring training or three like we have in this case, you know, timing's such a fickle thing sometimes that sometimes it can click for you right away and sometimes it takes a little bit more time and everyone's a little bit different and everyone's a little bit different each and every year, frankly. So uh, we'll see. George mm -hmm. King, you can unmute. Go right ahead. Aaron, at what point in the next two weeks do you get down to a deciding how many pitchers you take and who they are? Um, 
I mean, at this point, we haven't really had serious conversations about that. Um, I would say over the next several days, you know, we'll we'll those those conversations will gradually start to pick up, um, and obviously that final week um, we'll really start honing in on it. But those conversations really have not begun with any with any urgency at this point as as guys are still trying to kind of you know get their first outings under their belt build their pitch counts a little bit so i would say we're not quite there yet but then again we're two weeks from playing uh playing a game so um you know in another week those conversations are really gonna have to pick up two weeks from 